Hey, this new Olight Valkyrie Turbo just came out, and you're probably wondering, yeah, they claim it throws pretty far, but how many Candela does it actually have? Well, we're going to find out. So this is June 2022, and Olight has just come out with a new Valkyrie Turbo. This looks a lot like the old PL Pro and the, the Balder Pro R with the integrated laser. The bezel is slightly different size shape, but everything else is pretty much the same, including the, the attachment with the throw lever. But internally, it uses LEP technology, or laser excited phosphor. What that does is that shines a laser in on the phosphor, and then that allows a very small area to emit a lot of light, and that can be narrowed down in angle. If you want to know more, I'm going to link below my LEP primer for you to review. So as you can see, this light has a very tight hotspot and it has almost no splash or no flood. You know, if I were to take and compare that to the uh, ModLight PL350, and this has got the OKW head, which is their tightest throwing head with the hottest hotspot or most candela. If I were to compare these two, ModLite actually has a little bit of that extra flood. The Olight has virtually none. And that is what we tend to see out of these, um, out of these LEP type lights. Now, same, same stuff as always from Olight. This happens to use, does not have a charging pendant. It happens to use two CR123A batteries. Those come in through this back door. Um, it has, you know, the side button switches. It even has party mode. Yay! Um, so it's got all the same features you would expect from Olight. Now, of course, we're going to test for lumens, and we did that. And it does have about the claimed 250 lumens. If you're looking for a high lumen light, you're going to want to look elsewhere. Uh, it is really focused in on a narrow beam that will throw far. So you might ask me, Shan, when would you use a high throwing but low flood pistol light? The answer is I'm not really sure. Uh, if you're using a light that has a very focused hotspot, you can diffuse that and use that to illuminate rooms with umbrella lighting, shining it off the ceiling, or baseboard lighting, bouncing it off the floor or the baseboards. Uh, that can help illuminate a room, but if you're outside, that's where you typically have grass which doesn't reflect quite as predictably, or you have nothing above you, in which case you're just shining a beam out into, out into space. I think that the time that you would use a light like this is if you're expecting that you're going to want to get it into someone's eyes, to actually help control a threat, or if you're actually in a situation where you're going to have to use a pistol light to identify potential threats at long distance. Uh, I think that that latter one is not super likely. Um, I guess the third reason is you just think it's cool and you want to have it, and that's as legitimate a reason as any, I guess. Um, all right, so we did test it. It does have about 250 lumens. We tested it in the integrating sphere, uh, and I think that the results were about what I expected. So we did also test it using our, our meter here, and it has about 6,500 as the color temperature, uh, and it has a not-so-spectacular uh, CRI of 61.9. Not great. We tend to see high 60s, low 70s out of LED lights. The CRI is not, it's significantly lower. Uh, again, you're probably looking for a long distance light if you're looking at this one or you're looking at the effect that that light's going to have on the bozo at the other end. All right. So now, you see me holding the mod light, you see me holding the O light. Let's run both of them and see which one has higher candela. The way we're going to do this is we're going to get instantaneous readings off of this uh, for both lights. And then we're going to go ahead and get readings at 30 seconds in. I'll run a timer. 
We'll get readings at 30 seconds in and we'll see what the max is there. To do that, I'm going to be dimming the lights here. That means that you get to be subjected to uh, what may be unpredictable lighting in the video. Now the reason I'm dimming the lights is so that I don't get a lot of light onto this light meter. Right now it is measuring for me about 1.6 or 1.7 candela. Uh, you'll see that when we're going up in the tens of thousands of candela, that is an error that's just going to wash out. So let's, uh, let's see here. Looks like I've got a, got my meter fed up for this Olight. And I'm going to go ahead and select max on my meter. And we're going to find out how many candela. So my candela reading on this is 53,000. 880. So 53,880 candela. That's really good. Most of my pistol lights are going to be sub 30,000. Now I'm going to change out my meter holder and let's go ahead and hit this one. Okay. So this is giving me 62,760 candela. It is still significantly higher candela than this Olight. Now, that to be said, you know, the OKW is the hottest pistol light that we have in the shop. And I did not expect this Olight to beat it. Uh, it came close. I've actually done a few different runs of measurements. Uh, I don't know if it's these batteries in particular or what, but I have gotten better measurements out of this Olight, uh, low 60 thousandths. As a matter of fact, why don't I try it again with another pair of brand new lights? Or lights, batteries. Mix. Well, try as I might, 51,520, still respectable, not as hot as I would have seen in the past. So now what we're going to do is we're going to run it for 30 seconds. I'm going to hit my handy dandy stopwatch here, and we're going to uh, try the Olight first at 30 seconds in. looks like I actually got a higher reading. Maybe this Olight needed to warm itself up a little bit. 55,730 candela. All right, let's go ahead and run this. I know I ran it for a few seconds already. I am actually hunting for the highest candela hotspot. Uh, this gives me a chance to do that. All right, verdict is 60,230 candela. Uh, so this Olight is not quite as strong as this mod light. Now I'm gonna hit the lights back and we're gonna tap for a minute. All right, so you may also be asking, okay, how does this fit up on your favorite pistols? Well, let's take the Glock 17 and we can see that it goes ahead and it fits up um, fairly well, like any of the other Olight, the full-size Olights. It does stick out a little bit. If you're running a comp or a Glock 34, it's going to be about flush. So then you might be wondering, okay, Shan, who does holsters for this? Well, of course, you know that here it works. We are not sponsored by any light manufacturer. That allows us to give you unbiased data. Uh, 
but we do actually have holsters for this. We've done some testing and we know that our Olight uh, Balder Pro R holsters, the ones with the integrated lasers, those work excellent with this light because the body itself is shaped exactly the same. So let's show you how, what we've got here. Balder Pro R. Excellent snap, excellent fit, feel. Uh, you may also see that this is a carbon fiber. This is available only in limited quantities, only for a limited time. Uh, we've got, for the SIG and for the Glock, some, some holsters for this Valkyrie Turbo in carbon fiber black, and it really snaps. It looks great. Um, so that actually comes, these actually come with a mag carrier that can be carried separately inside the waistband or can be attached. That comes as a set. If we've got them, they'll be linked down below. Uh, we only have a limited quantity, so once they sell out, they sell out. But when we do sell them, we shall be shipping those right after they sell. So that's for the Glock. Let's go ahead and pull that off and go ahead and show you how it fits with the SIG. Here's the P320 Compact. Obviously with that pistol, it's gonna stick out a fair amount more. Uh, it's just the way it is. And then here is our holster for this. And that snaps, fits, feels great. Uh, the, of course, being for the SIG, it also works with the gas pedal if that happens to be what you're running. Now we may add additional pistols. Uh, so the best way to find what you're looking for is to go to either our OLED holster finder, linked below, or go to our homepage holster finder that allows you to input your pistol and your light and see if we have any offerings for you. Now, if you really love to geek out on weapon lights and weapon light data, please hit the like button and subscribe down below and hit the notification bell so you know when we post new content. Thanks so much for watching. This is Shan Hemphill with Works. Have a blessed day.